Hello, it's just about good morning. It's Wednesday today. I've been up since nine. I didn't go to bed till one, so I set my alarm for nine and I didn't wake up until my alarm went off. So I had a good eight hours sleep last night. Just made myself a nice cup of tea. I've been working on tonight's vlog since I got up, but that's up now and scheduled. Getting home wise, my other half has got a site visit in pont a -Prise today. So I said, well, just drop me there and I'll get the train home from there. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So we're leaving at two. It's just coming up to 12 now. Yeah, so that gives me just over two hours. Now I've got loads of stuff to practice today. This is like the big push now, the big final push before going on holiday. I'm really looking forward to going on holiday. I want a proper rest. I want to actually relax on holiday for the first time in years. For the first time since having a YouTube channel, basically. I, yeah, I'm determined I'm not going to push myself to upload every evening while I'm away. So bear with me with that. I am hoping you won't miss too many uploads nonetheless. Because I'm hoping to have two vlogs to go up after I've gone away. Plus maybe a couple of Q&As which I haven't filmed yet. Oh, if you've got any questions for the Q&A pop it down in the comments <laughs> if you wouldn't mind I've got quite a few already but you know more is good because they're quite they're, they're kind of practical and easy for me to turn around quickly and, and bulk record a couple in a day and then I've got two uploads with then uh, let's do that so anyway what was I saying yeah I've got two gigs coming up this weekend and I need to do quite a lot of rehearsal on my own personally for both of those so today's going to be all about the Saturday gig and tomorrow I'm going to all rehearse all for the Friday gig. <laughs> Friday day, I'm going to just brush up the trickiest bits for the Friday gig before the gig. And on Saturday day, I'm going to brush up the trickiest bit for the Saturday gig on the day before going to the gig. This is my plan. And then after that, I don't have any gigs for quite a while until mid-December. And so I'm just going to be doing a massive big sigh of relief and think, yes. Ah, oh, the music prep deadlines will be going away for a bit. So yeah, and then um, only got another, I've only got three gigs in December and then nothing for January, February, March. So I'll really be able to concentrate on my channels then for those three months. So that's my plan going forward. I didn't know this was gonna turn into a big ramble. Anyway, I've been organizing my practice sessions. I honestly should get Notion to sponsor me because I use it every day. <laughs> I absolutely love it. So this is on my phone. I've got my practice list for my Saturday gig. Now I've actually colour coded this. These are actually tick boxes here. So boom, when you've done it, I can't do it through the monitor. There we are. You can tick it off to show that you've actually practiced it. Let's uncheck that though. I'll confuse myself. Right, so I've actually colour coded this because I've got stuff to do on vocals, stuff to do on whistle, academic y stuff that just needs sort of looking up and stuff to do on the flute. So the orange is like academic y stuff. I need to get a word cue for that one because I'm having trouble counting bars rest. I just need to know where to come in properly and then lead the rest of the band in as well with it. Green is whistle. I need to practice my Christmas jigs. Purple is vocals. I need to practice vocal. Gaudete because it's in Latin and it's a bit of a mouthful. All these things in black, I don't need to practice. I just know them backwards. Blue is flute. Men down under, you know, do, 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 do. There's a flute bit in the middle of that, which is a little bit fiddly. So I just want to practice that. Right, I better get to work. I don't normally do this, but I do feel like I need to start doing proper vocal warm ups because I'm getting halfway through songs and my voice is starting to creak and crack up. So I think it's time to educate myself. Mm -hmm. those all twice I was uh, struggling a bit on some of the high notes but I've realized it goes up into the soprano range and I've always been an alto even since a child so I'm gonna forgive myself this is just a free piano app so I'm just wandering around like redoing them you know etc good I feel like I've educated myself a bit today so I'm trying to get my chops around this Latin basically for Gaudete I had to go in the rehearsal last night and I think it might be a little bit too high to me I'm doing it I'm doing it um doing an F at the moment but I feel like I want to go down a bit but it might be a bit last minute to try that out with the boys now because we've got no more rehearsals but my voice is, is cracking up on the high notes so it's not good <laughs> That's a swine, that one there, that line there. I'm actually having to practice this on the whistle, even though it's a really, 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 really simple tune. Because last year I did it on the recorder, and the fingering's different. You see on a tin whistle, this is actually a Blackwood Posh version of a tin whistle. But there's no hole at the back. 
You see on the recorder there's a thumb hole and some of the fingering's a little bit different and it's ingrained in me. My fingers just want to do the recording fingering and I completely am coming a cropper when that happens so I'm having to relearn it on this and just do it by, you know, muscle memory. Basically, spent about an hour on those two things. It's going to be an interesting lunch. We have veggie sausages to use up, so I'm using them up. We have soup, there's also on its date, so I'm heating that up. That's going to be hors d'oeuvres, and I couldn't find a lot in the way of carbs, so we're having massive, they're the most massive potatoes I've ever seen. So we're having one of those each, probably a bit too much, and might not be able to eat it all. But I'm going to pretend they're hot dog buns. For those, I'm going to cut them down the middle and stuff sausages inside and surprise I be with it. I've told him lunch is going to be very interesting indeed. I think we should have ketchup with it. He doesn't have any. So I looked in the fridge thinking it'd be there. See, I always, oh yeah, here it is. I always keep my condiments, like that sort of thing, in the fridge, you know. But IB doesn't. Well, where do you keep yours? Do you keep your ketchup and mayo and stuff like that in the fridge or in the cupboard? What else have we got in here? Brown sauce. Yes, you might like a bit of that. Check out the size on these whoppers. Now, look at them. They're massive, absolutely massive. I hope they're done. They've had 20 minutes. Well, it's all right. They could have another five because I've got to heat the soup up. Yeah, they need a bit longer. Another three and a half minutes and see how they're doing. I think we might need to have a little tidy up in here before we can have our lunch. Introducing a most special gluten-free hot dog bun. <laughs> We're coming to Ponty, been held up in traffic. There's a museum by there, there's the oldie bridgey by there. I've vlogged about that in the past. There's Best station. Best station ahead, yeah, I was there two vlogs ago. I've got about four minutes till my train goes. <laughs> And I've just been dropped around the back of Ponty Station and I'm not sure if I'm going the wrong way I'm not sure if this is like the wrong platform but hopefully I'm hoping there'll be like a diversion off to the correct platform so wish me luck with that right now cutting it fine today <laughs> yeah it's going to the wrong side but that's okay because we can get over the right side I think we've got enough time oh, I <laughs> need to get over there it looks a long way away at the moment. I wouldn't be at all surprised if my train is late though, because, you know, they often are. Three minutes, it's late. Oh, yay! I couldn't get a table today. I'm gonna sit here and do a bit of language learning on Duolingo. It's five to four, and I've just got in, and I've been thinking about my puzzle on the train. <laughs> oh, yes, my washing. Oh, yeah pretty much dry now. Glad I did that before I left yesterday. Do you see the raindrops on my glasses? Yes, just been walking back from the station in the rain. How nice. Five to four. Oh my goodness, I've still got loads of loop practice to do. But do you know what I've told myself? I really need to take more designated breaks during the day. And I'm going to take one now. I'm going to have half an hour in fact. I'm going to drink some coffee, I'm going to do some puzzle, listen to some news videos and then I'm going to do my flute practice hopefully refreshed reinvigorated and recharged Ooh, you've just got the sky to do now and these particular bits are very good for really focusing me and slowing me right down and helping me to forget about everything else so yeah it gives everything else a bit of a break in my mind and then come back recharged hopefully let's see well let's go live now to the hate incredibly fragmented I've gone over my break time by one minute. I said half an hour, but look, day. Ooh, ooh, trying to do it through the monitor screen now. Hey, I've done it, yay. So it's half past four. I feel tired, you know, I'm ready for a break from all this gigging narc for a few weeks, I really am. But anyway, this is my plan for the next little while. I'm gonna do 45 minutes of technique on my flute, and then I'm gonna have a scheduled break of 15 minutes. And then I'm gonna practice the targeted things that I need to practice on my flute for this Saturday gig. And then after that, I'm going to cook my dinner. It's half past six now. I've just emerged from the cellar. It's chilly up here, you know. I haven't had the heating on for a couple of days. I've been quite good, really. Oh, I need to top that pressure up. Oh, I need to do that before it, when it's not on, really. I need to do that when it's not right. I'll turn it back off. I'll do my pressure. That's better. I just topped it up. Look, 1.5 cold. 
You put it on now then. Anyway, right, I've done my practice. I'm really pleased with myself. I pushed through, but I didn't push, push, push because I took a couple of little breaks. And actually, I spent about 10 minutes on the sofa watching a bit of a vlog, eating mini cheddars before the last final stint of it. But yeah, I'm starting to feel a lot more on top of things and a lot more relaxed about the coming gigs because uh, I've made some progress today. Anyway, I need to cook something. I think I'm going to cook up lots of vegetables because I'm going shopping tomorrow. I'm going to do a tomato jollop with corn, I think. These are the things I'm going to use up. Aubergine. There's celery in there. Somebody tipped me off in the comments, I've said it before, but it's such a good tip, I'm going to share it again. Somebody commented that if you wrap your celery in foil, it keeps it fresh for so much longer, and it really does. It stops it going all floppy and dried out, and so that's a brilliant tip. I'm going to use up my courgette, my last mushroom, this pepper and those, and a bit of ginger, I don't need to use that up, that's not going off. And I'm going to have some frozen corn and tins of tomatoes, and shall I do some pasta with it? Yeah, I think I will, but do you know what? I think that's all the pasta i got left. Well, I'll just have that with it then. Look, 16.9 degrees in here, but I'm tolerating the cold. Oh, it's so much better now. I'm, I'm not that chilly. So I've only just put the heating on. I forgot to put the corn in. I've just served it up. I was like, oh, it does not really contain a lot in the way of protein. <laughs> Uh, mm. Anyway, I'm going to have some goat's cheese with it, I think. I personally will think that goes well together. Probably most people will disagree. There's loads left, so when I have that for lunch tomorrow, I'll have some beans or corn or something. I'm going to sit and enjoy my meal for one now. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe down below to watch more videos from me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!